Hi guys, and welcome back to another riveting episode of Hair Experiments with Clancy. So if you watched the last vlog, you saw I tried to do that viral TikTok trend where you put your hair in a high ponytail, then you kind of like dice an air wrap or curl it when it's in that ponytail, put it in rollers and you take it out. And this is what it's supposed to look like but it, 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 it certainly did not <laughs> look like that on me. And I vowed in that video, I will never try this again. It didn't turn out great. But then this morning, I found hope. Because one of the biggest things is my hair is not as long as any of those girls who have that beautiful hair. So I think, or at least I thought, now I'm realizing this might be a disaster again, but I've been using this attachment on the Dyson Airwrap thinking it was the thinnest attachment. Lo and behold, it is not. This is. And because my hair is a little shorter, like I, I, this is just not gonna, not gonna work. This would be great if you have super long hair. So I did it all again. And now the time has come for me to take out the rollers. I know how this is going to end, but I figured if you want to feel better about your life, like just keep watching because this is um this is a perfect description of like my life who i am me all right so first let's start with this is nothing i ran out of my small rollers so <laughs> oh my gosh this is, we already can tell where this is going i always have considered myself to be more of a makeup gal not saying i'm like some sort of expert obviously but i genuinely enjoy makeup i think it looks good on me that is my own personal opinion you can all have your own little judgments but yeah hair it is something that i've just always struggled with i feel like i always will and i really don't find it like fun at all to be honest like this this is not this is not fun already things are not looking <laughs> promising honestly it's not awful i really probably wouldn't leave my house like this but uh, i think like i'm getting better i feel like it looks like i'm wearing a wig like i I'm giving wig vibes, and that's not necessarily a good thing, but at least I can say I tried. Also, this is the aftermath of all of my ingredient, not ingredients, tools. Oh my gosh. In other news, I am so excited because a package for the Clancy Room has arrived. I just felt like this little corner was missing something. A lot of you guys I saw comments in because I asked you guys, like, there's just like this weird blank space here that I, I don't necessarily need to like put a whole crazy thing, but some of you guys recommended maybe doing a plant, which I really like that idea. And then even swapping it out for like a mini pencil Christmas tree possibly during December. So I really like that. But then even here, especially if I'm doing like a, you know, outfit video, outfit shots, it just looks a little blank. So I'm thinking a lamp might look good, but not just any lamp, a glam lamp. I feel like it's just like a subtle, just like a subtle glam moment. I'm so happy this room is finally coming together. I say that as my vanity looks like a hurricane hit. I've had a productive morning. I just shot a reel for Instagram, which the shooting of any type of fashion content is my absolute least favorite part. I just hate like putting on one outfit, ripping that off, putting on another, like I just don't even, it's just not my thing. However, once I actually like put it together and edit, that is what I love. So like the rest of my afternoon, I feel like I'm just gonna be doing all things I love. I also need to edit the video you would have seen before this, but we're taking a little lunch break. Very exciting news. We're gonna be experimenting, which I'm a lost cause in the kitchen. I'll be the first to admit it, but that's okay. All right, we are all on our own cooking journey. I went to the grocery store just to get paper towels this morning and I thought, you know what? Why don't I make my own salad dressing? I have heard of people doing this from scratch. It is something I never in a million years would have fathomed just because it's so easy to go to the grocery store, like pick up your favorite dressing, it's whatever. But if you actually look at the ingredients on the back of the bottle, most of them have some stuff like xanthan gum, like just bad things. And I always wonder, well, I don't really wonder, I know. Whenever I eat salads, I feel very sick to my stomach and I think it's the dressing, so I wonder, can I make a dressing that A, tastes good, and B, is healthy? So I honestly, I googled healthy balsamic vinaigrette recipe, clicked on the first article that popped up. This was all just like a game time decision at the grocery store, so I'm just being honest. And I bought the ingredients for that recipe. I have no idea like how this is actually gonna taste. And oh my gosh, guys, so I said like, 
I do want to start doing more cooking content, please let me know. I don't think anyone would have been a viewer back then. When I was younger, I used to do like a little cooking with Clancy series. Like I only did a few videos, but there's one in particular where I was on vacation with my family. The video was just such a mess. So you see this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Not a problem for people like me because we go into our drawer, we get a knife, like this type of Be careful. And you just, you know, just knife it all. Yep, knife it off. Oh, there we go. Please let me know if anyone has seen that video. But anyway, let me pull up this recipe on my phone. According to barefeetinthekitchen.com, she served this balsamic vinaigrette last week on a salad while she had family visiting. Everyone who tried the dressing immediately requested the recipe. All right, let's see if that is actually the case. I'm actually doing some uh, investigative journalism right now. We are. Oh! I have my mixing bowl and it looks like I'm going to be mixing together two, ugh, two tablespoons of, what is this? Dijon mustard. I'm a little alarmed that I really do not enjoy, oh, come on. I'm alarmed that I don't enjoy mustard and this seems to be a key ingredient of this recipe. I feel like that's probably not good. Oh shoot, it said one tablespoon of the mustard. All right. That's not good. I feel like that's close to a tablespoon, right? Two tablespoons of honey. That's where I got the two tablespoon thing from. It didn't just come out of nowhere. I was just thinking if this recipe turns out good, I can pass this down to my ancestors for decades to come. Looks like the recipe calls for a quarter of a cup of balsamic vinegar. Plop that in there. You will notice our recipe has quickly changed its color and that is exactly what we want. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Now they are politely asking us to put in half a tablespoon of sea salt. Oh shoot, I'm doing so bad at this recipe. I don't even know how I'm supposed to be measuring this. I think that's fine. Half a tablespoon of crushed black pepper and then a little bit of minced garlic. Now we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of olive oil. That's a lot. Oh my gosh, this is like draining my supply. This better be worth it because this is a lot. Oh my gosh. I'm a little bit worried because this is the color of my recipe and this is what it's supposed to look like, but I don't understand. I followed everything to a T, so I'm gonna refrigerate it for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna give it a try. The moment of the hour is upon us. I have my ever so slightly chilled homemade balsamic vinaigrette and then I have to make a confession. I mean, it's not really a confession, you could see it. This is not my best salad work. Normally I feel like my salads are everything and more and this is just, this is lacking. I just have some onions, red bell peppers, quinoa, and then some mixed greens. It's, it's not the best, it's not the worst, we're gonna live. All right, I'm gonna do two tablespoons, give it a little, a little mix, a little mixer -rooney. I'm nervous, but I promise to be honest about this. Like if it really tastes awful, I will tell you guys, I'm taking a big bite. Wow, oh my gosh. It's actually really good. Guys, I will link the recipe below. It was super easy. I was a little salty that I used so much of my precious olive oil because that stuff ain't cheap, but oh my gosh. And obviously like you guys saw, like there are so many servings in that container. This is quite possibly a game changer. And I'll be curious to see if my stomach hurts after eating this, I will get back to you guys because that's one of the big problems with salad for me. The dressing irritates my stomach. I am very, I'm proud, I'm happy, I'm feeling good. And I'm having a little tin of tuna. <coughs> it's a lot later, I'm just doing some skincare and I decided to leave that little section in the vlog. You guys are probably so confused as to what you just witnessed. That, my friends, is something that happens precisely, I don't know, maybe like once every two weeks where I have a minor freak out that I'm having an allergic reaction, which you guys know I am severely allergic to tree nuts. 
what happened there, I'm obvious, like, I knew I wasn't allergic to anything. Like, it was the most, you know, pure ingredients ever. I think, like, a little, like, a little quinoa kernel got stuck in my throat for just, like, a little second. And it almost mimicked the, like, the, the throat closing sensation that I experienced. I mean, I have not, knock on wood, I have not had an anaphylactic reaction since seventh grade, 2007, and yet I can like remember it and remember the sensations as if it was yesterday. And oh my gosh, all it takes is just like the littlest tickle in my throat and I go into full on freak out mode. And it it's not that big of a deal. I get over it in a minute, but it's just that one split second of like, oh my gosh, am I gonna have to get to the hospital right away? And that is what happened. And that's one of the huge reasons I am not adventurous with my food. I don't try a lot of new things. Like it's just like not worth the stress to me. And I honestly don't think it's one of those things that people can even, not to sound like weird, but I just don't think you can relate to it unless you've experienced it. Because I know so many people are like, why don't you eat this and that? And like, I physically can't imagine going to like a food festival and just being like, I'm just gonna have anything. Like. That sounds like my worst nightmare. Anyway, I stand by the fact that that dressing is so freaking good. Like I'm excited to have a salad tomorrow just so I can eat the dressing, which sounds weird, but it genuinely tastes so good. Also, I feel like I'm in like a jail setting right now with my bathroom. This is obviously another bathroom, like not my bathroom because I have not yet moved back in. You guys know Zach has had COVID. Finally, he is like, clear to go out and live his life. He just has a lingering cough. So I think tonight is going to be my last night quarantining from him in the guest room. And then after that, I have to move back because Zach's sister is actually staying over tomorrow night with her friend. They are going to Disney for her friend's um, bachelorette party. We live near the Cincinnati airport. Zach's sister's in Dayton. So they're just going to stay over the night. So they don't have to drive all that way early in the morning. sit around and wait all day you lay easy on my mind like a candle I just burn away all we really have officially moving out of the guest bedroom today. We think Zach is better, like he's still coughing, but we don't think he's contagious. However, we are visiting his family in Dayton this weekend, and we obviously are not gonna take any chances. So we're gonna have him take a COVID test sometime today just to make absolute certain he no longer has COVID, is contagious. It's been two weeks, so I'm pretty sure like he's gonna be fine, but we decided like, it's just better if we don't take any chances with that. And then obviously I have to get the guest room in order for Zach's sister, which I I truly have moved in here. Like I've actually been enjoying having my own little bathroom. Obviously this is a lot smaller than our main bathroom, but I low key love it. Like it's just so cute. I've been loving showering in here, but the time has come for me to move back to where I belong. And today is just going to be a huge laundry editing just like kind of like sitting on my butt day which honestly i deserve it today at burn boot camp i rolled in there not knowing today is national burpee day do you know how awful that is like burpees are my least favorite thing in the entire world like i would rather do anything else i'll run i'll run three miles we're fine burpees it, it's just not <laughs> for me so as you can imagine like the workout was just awful they really celebrated national burpee day at burn like i'm not gonna lie guys if i knew it was national burpee day before going i wouldn't have gone and that's i'm really glad i went but i literally wouldn't have gone that's how much i hate burpees Today is a good day because it's a new mascara day. If you know, you know, like 
anytime, oh my gosh, this is just like magic. Anytime you open up a brand new mascara, it's just like so good. And you just like already know you are going to be having a good eyelash day. I personally rotate between this one, this is Too Faced, and I also love Benefit. Oh my gosh, I feel like this looks so much better than my eyelashes yesterday. And it was just about a year ago that I got a lash perm for the first time. I got like a perm intent, which basically just means like it semi-permanently curls your lashes. I'd say it lasted for me about three weeks. It was awesome, like it really did look awesome, but I just don't think it was worth the price. Like it wasn't that big of a difference and I forgot it was like maybe just under a hundred bucks. So I just don't really think it was worth it. Also, can I just say, am I the only person, I probably am, who is excited about the fact that Amazon Prime Day is over. It was yesterday and the day before and like, I love Amazon Prime Day. Like I obviously like it's great to have deals, but my entire social media feed basically on Instagram, TikTok was just influencers telling everyone like this product is on sale, this product, this, this is what I use to like bathe myself. It's just like the most random things, like things that were coming out of the woodworks, which I understand that's how a lot of people make their money through affiliate marketing. For me personally, that is not at all a big part of my income. It's it's barely even like a portion of my income. If it was like a, a circle or like a pie, like that's not it at all. Obviously, I do link stuff for you guys and I make a little bit of money that way, but it's it's just not like a primary portion of my income. It's not a focus. I don't like sales in particular. Like I don't really like selling things. It always feels... I don't know, like obviously I do sponsored content, but I'm not like relying on people like, you must buy this. Like it's just like, here's what I've been trying. I like it, buy it if you want. Whereas affiliate marketing is very much so like, you need to buy this so I can pay my mortgage, that type of thing. Which honestly, like that's what an influencer truly is. I've always said like, I'm not an influencer. I'm really not. And that actually became super apparent. I cannot recommend this book enough. I just finished it a couple of days ago. I read it in a day. It's by JC Dupree. She has an autobiography. I believe it was published a year ago. I had actually never heard of her before. I'm not really, I've never really been too into like following like fashion bloggers and like true influencers. I'm more so like just following lifestyle content creators, but JC is like the real deal. She was a blogger. I feel like bloggers are like the true influencers back in the day. I mean, she has been all around the world for various fashion weeks and photo shoots and working with like Dior, Chanel, all these brands. Like she is truly the definition of an influencer and a huge portion of her income is affiliate marketing, getting people to buy like the clothes she wears or things like that. Oh my gosh, the book was so interesting because it also showed behind the scenes, like it's not all glitz and glam. Like it's not A, easy necessarily and B, I mean, she talked about how like her marriage was falling apart as her blog was growing. It just, it was so interesting. So I cannot recommend that book enough. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's been two weeks. I feel fine besides just a little cough. Oh, this disgusts me. <laughs> Fun fact, when I was in the news industry, like I can't tell you how many times they showed people like swabbing their nose and I hated it. It was like just as graphic to me as showing people like injecting themselves. I just, I don't stand for that. He's negative! Been quarantining, so it's nice that I can try to go back out in the wild. Are you ready? I'm so ready to get back out there. <laughs> Meanwhile, guys, he's a traitor. He's not even eating my homemade salad dressing. You said you liked it, so I wasn't gonna eat no, it. No, that is very nice of you. Next time, definitely try it. What? Uh, Zach? What? Can you come here? What? what happened to my dressing? This was salad dressing. 
Oh my gosh. It's rock. It's like, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is upsetting. What the heck? It's like pudding. All right, so that was uh, quite disappointing. I have discovered upon further investigation that this is actually common where when you have homemade like vinegar or oil-based dressings, it separates and it does harden. And I guess you have to like set it out 30 minutes before you want to eat your dressing in order to help. I don't know. Like that was just like very unexpected. <laughs> it literally was like pudding. And that's so disappointing. But once I was kind of like mixing it together, the consistency was already changing. So I think I'm just gonna have to like actually set it out next time. Like this was a, a fail. I wasn't able to eat my, my salad today. So that's fine. We're all gonna be fine. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But gosh, like this whole cooking thing is like really not for the faint of heart. I know making dressing is not even cooking. It's just, just it's just not my, my specialty. Oh my gosh, guys, I've been sitting here editing this video and I went to go find a clip from my Cooking with Clancy video. You would have already seen that clip that I put at the beginning of this video, but I am just absolutely cracking up at this full video. It's currently privated just because a lot of my videos from high school are like, I was like, I was insane in high school, like just absolutely insane. I was like, definitely like the weird friend, like the weird hyper outgoing, doesn't really care. Like, I don't even know who I was. It's like, I really don't even feel like it was the same human. I truly don't. And when I insert the rest of this video, you'll understand. So I was doing this whole like baking chocolate chip cookie video, which by the way, I was doing like store-bought like <laughs> Pillsbury cookies. So that's great. But my family, oh my gosh. So we were all in Myrtle Beach because back then my brother was in the Marine Corps. So we were all meeting up for Thanksgiving. He couldn't go far. Like he was I think in Camp Lejeune and he couldn't go far. So we all decided to meet up in South Carolina. And one night, I guess I decided to like bake these cookies and film it and you will see things escalate in which my family starts fighting. My dad at the end of the video, this is where I had tears in my eyes of laughter. He was actually like furious. I guess he thought he put on the tea kettle and someone unplugged it. You would have thought someone chopped off his pinky. Like the way this man reacted to simply someone <laughs> unplugging a tea kettle, like I don't understand. It wasn't that, but like, a tea, it takes like what, like a minute for like water to heat up. I have no idea why he was so angry about that, but it like, I was cracking up, enjoy. Okay, so first thing first, you get your Pillsbury chocolate chip flavored cookies and you read the ingredients to make sure there's no tree nuts because who does, who likes tree nuts? Like not me because some of us in this world are allergic. So no tree nuts, but you know, it's edible. Do not get the tree nut kind or else I'll hate you forever. So now you see this, it's like, oh my gosh, so challenging. Not for claims. Dad, stop. Oh, Dad, you don't, don't laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, you are. Dad. Then how come you were laughing? Smile. Okay, fine. Don't smile at me. Yes! The cookies are ready. The cookies are ready. spatula? Bull Cops of America is on 103. It's like a reality show. You would love it. Are you, gonna watch are you talking to me or Dad or Neil? What do you do? You with the Ball Cop session. You and Mom the session. I think I'm obsessed with it. Neil. Wanna watch a real one? No, I, I don't like Paul Cops. I just like the movie Paul Ball Cops. You don't like Paul Cops. Cops? I don't want to be against them. You don't you don't want to be against Paul Cops, Betsy? Does it? As in Paul Cops. Crazy Paul Cops. Well, whatever. Tall bar, mall cap is the best movie oh, ever. Do you have any milk? Wait, so dad's having one cookies. One cookies. Yo! Have, like, oh, you're the... No, I'm having three. I'm gonna see my... You have two. Like you're, you're actually planning out who's having what. And these Mom. five are designated for you. Mom? Yeah. What's what the food like doing? You have to no. wait. You have to... Clancy, stop. Don't... Do not touch it. You do not know... You do not know your cookies. You wait. You Neil. wait like five minutes at least. Me. Wait, 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 do you have any idea how well, fat you sound when I try to plan out? I'm just saying I'm having at least four, that's all I'm saying. What? No. But, uh, no. Oh no, we can both have four and I can have one. And mom. Mom, I'm touching mom today. She's having at least one. Mom, are you having one? Yeah. Mom, if you want one, there'd be enough. I don't want one. She said she don't want one. So four, four, one, why are we so What's fat? What's that, dad? You don't want one either? Stop saying wait, I'm not fat, goddammit. Basically it. Because leaving base, like... There's no point to leave base. Just cost the There's stuff on the base. There's any's place. There's a. Dad, I didn't leave the plan. I could have heard you. 
This there was no milk. Yo, why are you? I'm to be pissed. Why are you? Um, you're really, really you're making you realize how annoying you are. And then you have where, where the freshly baked cookies that are. I pour. I got yours for you. Where, is this it? This one with one on it? No. Where's mine then? And then here you have your freshly baked cookies. Why'd you give me the one that Terrific. you messed up? Obviously, I'm not gonna take one. If Mom wants one, you're giving her one. Neil, if Mom wants one, you're giving. Hell no. So what are we doing tomorrow? Nothing. Is it good, Neil? I got it. Oh yeah, it really hits the spot. Yeah. And then what you do is you go and take your milk that you did that you poured before as instructed. Now we're gonna dig right in, shall we? Mmm. Well, shit, the kids does even bought it. And I make it the waffle. Well, you know, I forgot that I was here this morning. Dad, do you mind not cursing my videos? Is this on? Because I have arms set for. Hey, Jesus, who turned the power off here? Oh. Oh well. No, I didn't turn it off. Actually, no, no, I'm not turning the power off. I, I can honestly say I didn't. Or if you want, you can dip it in the milk. Sorry for the commotion in this household. Some people are just so annoying. I have morning. Uh, Dad, without waking up in the middle of the night, you're ruining the video. It messes me up. So I, have I don't even know what's going on. Doesn't mean you have to curse. Yeah, it's it's just, it's just, it's just, All right, we'll just say. Who turned off this? Not, not me. Not me. Not me. Okay, so we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> on that note. Bring it over here. So yes, that is my that is my family. Anyway, I am going to spend the rest of the afternoon editing. I am also now doing hour sheets. I'm finally washing Zach's COVID sheets. I'm going to move back in, which I am excited to like not be all by myself. I feel like we're just like living two separate worlds right now ever since Zach got COVID because it's been like two weeks since like we even like so much is like touched. We've just been very, very, very careful with obviously not wanting me to get it. And it's like nice now that I saw the negative test, like we can go back to sleeping in the same room, which I know I've been talking all about how like, oh my gosh, I've been getting such a good night's sleep, sleeping by myself. But I really do miss sleeping next to Zach, so that'll be good. And I am looking forward to that. But anyway, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you next time. Bye.